Hare Krishna. The Gita raises our consciousness from Jagat to Jiva to Jagadish. The Bhagavad Gita is a complex philosophical book. At the same time, it is also a practical spiritual guide. And if we understand the trajectory that it is meant to help us trace, then we can, we can find our way through the maze-like complexity of spiritual philosophical concepts that it deals with. Essentially, the Bhagavad Gita explains that existence can be uh, explained in terms of Tattvatraya. This is the teaching of the Upanishads also. And even from the empirical scientific perspective or a common sense logical perspective, we can talk about these three truths of existence. What is that? We could uh, phrase them as the alliterative J. J, J, Jagadish, sorry, Jagat, Jiva and Jagadish. Jagat is the world around us, that is matter. Jiva is the soul, consciousness. And Jagadish. So, that is the supreme being, the controller, the supreme being, the absolute truth. So, now these three are what exist. Now, even if, if you consider the scientific worldview, it is largely materialistic. But they also acknowledge there is something called consciousness. Although they say that it is an emergent epiphenomena or something like that. But consciousness is a reality that exists. And they also say there is some source from which everything came about. Now, where that source came from, what that source is about, that, that is not known. But the idea is, these three things are there. There is Jagat, Jiva, Jagat, Jiva and Jagdish. So now, normally, our consciousness is captivated in the Jagat. We, I want this object to enjoy. I want that object over there. I, uh, oh, this is going wrong. So consciousness is caught in Jagat. And that was what happened to Arjuna right at the beginning. Oh, you know, these are my these are my loud ones. How can I fight against them? What is the use of a kingdom? It comes by killing them. So his consciousness was caught at the level of Jagata in this world. And the Krigita raises his consciousness. The first thing that it tells him is, you are not this Jagata. You are not a part of this Jagata. You are not a part of this world. You are Jiva. You are consciousness. You are the soul. Dehi no smin yatha dehe. That in the Dehi, 2.3 in the Bhagavad Krishna says that you are the Dehi. You are the living being who is situated inside it. And Krishna tells Arjuna that by understanding this, you should become Atmavan. <coughs> Atmavan means that one should become pos the possessor of one's soul. He says that. <coughs> Trigunya Vishaya Veda Nistraigunyo Bhava Arjuna Nirdvandvo Niti Satvastho Niryoga Kshema Atma Vaan In 2.45 he states that that understanding that you are transcendental raise yourself about, about conceptions of material gain and loss and become situated in the level of the soul. This is one level up from Jagat to Jiva. And then the Gita moves on. Now, now when we are moving from the world to the soul then our focus is primarily on detachment. No. I don't want to connect with this world. I want to move away from this world. But then this is not the stage where Krishna, the Gita stops. It moves further. And it tells Arjuna that actually you have to go deeper and realize the Jagadish. That is what uh, this whole process of Karma Yoga which detaches one from the matter to spirit uh, and then it goes to Ashtanga Yoga. Ashtanga Yoga culminates in 6.47 Krishna says, Yoginam api sarvesham so he says that by going through this whole journey, the culmination is to fix your consciousness on me. That means to raise your consciousness beyond the Atma to the Paramatma. To always think of Krishna who is within the heart. And at the same point, Krishna stresses again and again throughout the Gita that when we become conscious of him, then whatever ups and downs come in our life, we will be able to tolerate them, we will transcend them. And at the end of the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna tells Arjuna, just surrender to me, just be conscious of me. And by that consciousness of Krishna, Arjuna's illusions are dissipated, Arjuna's grief is dissipated, his determination is restored. Similarly for us, 
many times when we become conscious of jagat of the world around us we can become overwhelmed but by following the trajectory of the gita and raising our consciousness from jagat through jiva to jagdish we can also become relieved of illusion relieved of distress and re we can become reinforced in our determination to continue serving krishna and to attain the ultimate victory of union with him of eternal ecstatic loving union with him which is what the bhagavad gita promises at its end in 18.78 thank you hare krishna